Oh, it's Phil's. <laughs> Do I hold this the whole time? Can I get a drum roll? What is your name and what are your pronouns? My name is Dan and my pronouns are he, him. My name is Sabine and my pronouns are she, her. My name is Harry, uh, my pronouns are he, him. My name is Annabelle and my pronouns are they, them. My name is Jordi and my pronouns are they, them. My name is Eddie and my pronouns are she, her. Question number two. What do you do at Canva? I'm actually a front-end engineer. I'm a back-end engineer on the Help Platform team. Mm -hmm. I'm a videographer, so I'm part of the team that makes all of Canva's ads. My formal title is motion designer. It's like a weirdly fancy term for animator. I am a design researcher on the education team at Canva. I am part of our Canva U team, so mm -hmm. we look after everyone's growth and development. Over to you. Tell us about what it means to you about being a member of the LGBTQIA plus Ooh, community. I love this question. Just means having a, a family outside your own. We're all in it together. You know, everyone can feel like we're not alone. Being part of the community has helped shape a lot of my perspectives on how I engage with people and how I occupy space. Mm. Like my conclusion has always been that I want to be someone who exudes positivity and confidence and helps empower others, you know? Yeah. It just means I can love anyone and be whoever I am beyond gender stereotypes and that feels entirely freeing. It's so nice to be able to say with pride like this is who I am. It's a really beautiful community to be a part of and it's, I think that going to queer events are so unlike going to any other event because you feel it when you walk in the room, you feel the sense of acceptance and love and compassion and you know, people are always just happy to be there and happy to be in the company of other people like them and I think that there's something really, really special about that. Also, any event held by the community is always just... <laughs> How important is it that people feel like they belong and are included in their workplace? Oh, I think it's tremendously important because if you feel like you're free, then that's kind of like the breeding ground for innovation. To bring your authentic self to work is the most important thing, right? You can come, you can do what you need to do and you can feel just like, here is who I am and that's totally okay. I'm sneakily reading it. I'm sorry. Did you just read the read it. question? No, read it to me, read it to Did me. Did you just read the question? <laughs> read it to me. Oh, this one's cute. Okay, what's your favorite experience or memory that you've had at Canva that makes you feel included? I think a really special thing for me was uh, on my very, very first day at Canva, I walked into the building and we had uh, all these posters up that I can't remember the exact wording, but they said something along the lines of, whoever you are, however you identify, we love and accept and encourage you. And I remember thinking, wow, okay, I've, I've come somewhere really special. How does your work empower the community? I guess my work helps enable users to empower themselves to solve their own problems. What about you? So I spend most of my day speaking to students and teachers from all around the world and I guess like my job is to really make sure that they have a voice and those voices and needs are heard as part of the design process. Ooh, I think for me it's representation. Seeing other LGBTQI plus people, seeing that presence we have, we celebrate Pride, we celebrate Mardi Gras. I think for me that's the massive, massive sign that Canva appreciates who we are and what we represent. Everybody is encouraged to be themselves and to, to be heard and seen and that's really special and I think that speaks to the ecosystem that we've built, that the team has built on the whole. 100% agree with that. They definitely Absolutely. make an effort to bring us all together and make us feel part of the, the bigger picture. Mm. Final question for a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> How does Canva educate Canva knots? about the LGBTQI plus community. It's much harder to read it yeah, than it is to say it. I think, yeah. <laughs> well, we do workshops and stuff. We have um, unconscious bias training, which addresses the different beliefs that we might subconsciously hold that influence our opinions, whether we know it or not. You mentioned unconscious bias. I made that, so Ooh. that's my program. Well, Canva does a great job of providing visibility. You know, it's not just around Pride Month or Mardi Gras. It's all around always happening, which is nice. It's always just sort of like in the back of everyone's minds, I guess, like in the corner of the room sort of thing. I think it's good how they've done it so far where they've just made it feel as though it's already normalized within the office space, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. It does. It feels like it's just built into the walls. It is so nice to just have pronouns are out there. No questions are asked. And if you do ask questions, they're polite in a safe space and they're nice. Having this safe space, it means that 
people like us and other people in the community that work at Canva can give answers. And you're right, I think the, the visibility of pronouns, you know, everybody has their pronouns in Slack, a lot of people have their pronouns in Zoom, a lot of people have pronoun stickers on their laptops and things like that. You're right, it is very visible and I think that that generates a conversation and, and normalises. I love the stickers. Yeah. Because I'm a big fan of stickers, I think they did a really good job with that. <laughs> Where it's just like a bunch of he, him, like she, they, like stuff like that. And I've just been plastering them on everything at home. <laughs> I'm a bit of a hoarder as well, so I just like, <laughs> steal them all and just like plaster them around. So like my house has been a bit yassified, you know what I mean? <laughs> what are you most proud of creating here at Canva? So I'm most proud of working on our most recent Pride campaign Aww. and the little design story that we did on Brenda Delahaye. Brendan Delahaye, my nose. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! Um, I'm also really, really proud of that one. Yeah, I loved it. You did a great job. You did you... a great job. We did a great job. <laughs> I think I'm most proud of my work on our ethical research process and it makes sure that all the research that we're doing all around the world is kind and ethical and particularly considers the minorities that we're going to be working with as well. I've had the chance to work with our Canva space group and offer some programs for other people outside of Canva mm -hmm. to jump in on. So I think my favourite I worked on was a session we ran for LGBTQIA plus not-for-profits. What is your favorite feature in Canva? I love that Canva now has a video editor Thank because you. as a videographer, everybody used to come to me and ask me to make videos for them and now they're empowered to make them themselves. Uh, wait, I need to answer as well. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, it's resize. The amount of times that Magic Resize has saved my life, like if it's a last second deadline, I'm scooting into the end and then someone's like, I need this in six sizes. And I'm like, oh no. But then I just hit a button and I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> in terms of product, a project called the Character Builder, usually our elements in the library are quite fixed. Like if you want a person, they're like stuck at this and they may not look like you or how you want them to look. So with the Character Builder, it broke apart all those elements. So you could build a person in all different postures and change the skin color and put different props on. It's just such a fun piece. I think I need to call my mom to tell her about I'm a film star. <laughs> Let's go do it, hey? I'm keen for a coffee if you're keen for a coffee. I'm keen for a coffee. Okay, do you want to get a coffee? Let's do it. Okay. That's a wrap.